Okay. I definitely heard that. I don't know if that's an ambient sound gone wrong, but that was definitely the sound of somebody opening a can of drink. And I am not in the mood to stick around to find out whether or not they know I'm here. This is a dangerous place. As such, we are treating it respectfully and getting the fuck out of here. So we're going to head for those trees over there, by the, uh, by the barn. We're going to find a spot to camp out, and then we are going to end the session. And then in the next session we will head to Bashnia and potentially the Northwest Airfield. How many people are left on here? Still a ton. Wow. Uh, for for reference, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning that I am recording. Actually, does it have a time in there? No. Uh, but yeah, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning when I am recording, so that's a lot of people. Usually it's about 20, but this looks to be a full 40 server. Which for Australia is very, very rare. What are you? What are you? 50. Not what I need. Maybe you, you don't got what I need. Okay, so, reading the map correctly, assuming that we are doing so, this is this road. So I'm going to sit here for a minute or two. Just make sure that there's nobody with us. And then we are going to call it a session. Actually, I don't like it just here. It's too exposed. This isn't much better, but it's a little bit further away from a main road. Though granted that in the north here, no, nowhere is safe. You are not safe anywhere. Okay, that was a zombie noise. At the end of the last session, I was caught out by a zombie with supersonic hearing. Now what hell with it. We're just going to keep heading this way. Assuming this is correct, if we keep following this road, we will end up at Bashnia sooner rather than later, so let's just do that. It's the safest option out of all the bad ones. So we'll just keep heading this way. Yeah, we need a little bit more food and water as well. Stop and do that at this little hunter's post. So we'll have our spite lemon lime. Cool, cool. And then we will have a can of tactical bacon, I believe. Open the can of tactical bacon. Eat all of the tactical bacon. Or it is tactical. We are being tactical. Therefore, we need the tactical bacon. 
Yeah, I'm thinking that maybe the ambient noise is what's freaking me out. Like, there's not actually a zombie there. It's just... Ambient noise. But now I'm scared that it might not be. I've eaten all the canned tactical bacon, thank god. Time to get going. Definitely time to get going. Like, I hope I'm imagining it, and it's not actually a zombie getting riled up by me. Because if it is, I'm buggered, because I can't see the fucking thing. And there were invisible zombies in uh, the update that I was playing prior to these recent sessions, where you would get invisible zombies that you could not see, and therefore could not hit, because you didn't know where they were. You were getting wet. Oh, it's raining again. Um, you could not see them, and you could not hit them, obviously, because you did not know where they were. But they could hit you. So you would be in a lot of trouble. Okay, let's see if we can find that hunter's post. On this map. Not really. I'd imagine it's about here-ish, though. If the road is off to our right, we should come up on an intersection fairly soon. And we should be able to see the houses at that intersection. Huh. Is the road pass like that? Maybe. I don't know. We're going to turn a little bit to the right, though. It would help a lot if we had a compass, because we could see which direction we were heading, we could figure it out a little bit better. When I have to rely on guesswork, it's not the greatest. Because you can never be entirely sure that you're heading in the right direction. But I guess we'll know if we see an airfield. <laughs> If I've gone too far right, we'll end up walking straight onto the airfield, and if there's anyone there, we will be fucked. Like, literal fucked. Of course, it is entirely possible that I might have turned a little bit too shallowly. But from my memories of this place, uh, that road should have been one going See, now I'm confused. Now I don't know. Hopefully when we get to the crest of this little mini hill, we'll be able to see something that identifies where the fuck we are. Not really. Actually, hang on. That's Lopatino. Yeah, we went far, 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 too far to the right. We are probably here-ish. So we need to go this way. I think. I believe. On the other hand, this will allow us to potentially see a more identifying landmark in that we'll be able to locate the actual airfield. And therefore, avoid it. <laughs> Actually, no, this looks right. So, Bashnia should be up there somewhere. The airfield should be off to the right. Over there-ish. And Tent City, etc. There's a city of tents just outside it. Might be it over there. Okay, I swear I am hearing zombie noises. It could just be that I'm crazy, but I'm really hoping it's 
Right, I'm really hoping that's the case. Okay, that should be the road heading toward the northwest airfield. Up ahead. Right there. Yep, there's the northwest airfield, so if we head down this way, and then go slightly to the left, we should end up Bashnia. Again, we're relying on my less than stellar uh, ability to navigate without a compass. With a compass, I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm fairly certain I can find my way wherever, whenever. Yep, there we go. That's the road. Crossroads there. That's that house. So if we head straight up the other side and just continue in the tree line, we should end up at Bash now. Not half bad. Fairly good. So, fingers crossed, that's where we'll be. And then we'll do a quick sweep of the little uh, military barracks slash prison thing that's there, and then we'll head further north to a place of safety. It sounds strange, considering that I just said about how being in the north you are never really safe, but there actually is an area that's a little bit safer than most up in the northern, uh, at the very, very north. So uh, where I pointed out that I hadn't noticed a water fountain before. Okay, so straight up here. If there is a zombie chasing us, it is very goddamn persistent. I'm starting to think it's just the ambient noise playing tricks on me, and I am kind of happy about that. It's a little bit unnerving. Which I suppose is the point. But one day I will hear that noise and I will think, oh, it's just the ambient noise fucking with me and it'll be an actual zombie. <laughs> That's gonna happen. It's gonna happen one day. So we've been on a bit of a woodland trek. We have gone a fair way, all things considered. We've gone to a few places. We bypassed Lopatino, but we did go through Vibor, and you guys got to see that town. We also got to see... Um, I don't think it actually has a name, that place. It doesn't have a name. I'm going to call it the Railway Junction, because there, uh, there is a train track there. And now we'll get to go see Bashnia. Bashnia? I don't know what you'd actually call it. And then we'll probably have a look in the next session at um, Tent City. <laughs> Tent City is a interesting place. Okay, this is looking a little bit familiar. I think I know roughly where I am in regards to Bash now. We should be able to just keep going straight ahead and rock up to it. Yep, there it is. You can just see it in the distance there, but there's a building. Or a set of buildings, rather. Oh, hello. That is a deer. Okay, we are going to sneak up on this son of a bitch and we are going to put our tracking skills and our butchering skills to use. I wonder if a, uh, a silenced weapon would actually be useful for this. You hear nothing. No! No, come here! Come here! Gotcha. I am sorry, dear. I am very, very sorry, but I require you. Okay, so if I put those... If I put that into my hands... Can I... New contents? 
Oh. Wait, did I not put the knife in my hands? No, put, put the knife in there. Oh, that's nice. You can put your axes into... There. Oh, that's cool. Um, inspect? No. Maybe you do need it in your hands? Take into hands. There we go! Skin and quarter the deer. I started skinning the deer. That's cool. We went hunting. So, you get pelts for that, I believe. No, 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 I just want to open my inventory. Can you view contents? No, I skinned and quartered the deer. Oh, there it is. Deer pelt. I don't want the deer pelt. Food! Raw deer steak. A raw deer steak. Huh. Awesome. So I'm going to have to look up how to actually create a campfire, etc. And in the next session, we are going to have to have a cook-up. We are going to have to have a cook-up. So now, we will head for... Bashnia. It should be, if I have remembered my locations correctly, just up here. That looks right. So we have plenty of food now. We've got meat. We've got tons of steak. 90% remaining. I wonder if you can cook all of that. And if one day they are going to add preservation of meat. So you can, uh, you can put it in your own uh, cans, for example. Well, maybe not cans, because you kind of need... Oh, I don't know. Would you need particularly special equipment to do canned food? I'm going to say probably. I'd imagine so. That would make sense. But perhaps you could do salted meat or jerky, beef jerky. That could be a thing. Okay, so as far as I know, there's not a whole ton of people that know this place exists. It's a little bit out of the way, because when you get to the Northwest Airfield, you're kind of overwhelmed by all the cool stuff in the Northwest Airfield, which is understandable. It's the goddamn Northwest Airfield. It's got cool stuff in it. But uh, this place is actually a bit of a treasure trove, generally. Although, there is a gate open, so... Perhaps somebody did get here before me. And that time I definitely heard a zombie. It's probably on the other side. Yeah, someone's been here. I hear a zombie. I can't see it. I would imagine, though, that this time there is one. For real. However, if need be, we can outrun it. So. What we're going to do instead is proceed on the assumption that there is somebody in here, currently. Sparks VI is losing connection. Poor Sparks. Weapons kit, arrow. Nothing particularly good. So 9mm rounds, how many? 31. I will actually take those.
Okay. Take this can of tactical bacon. And clear out this room. And then we will go look for a nice place to stay. Hmm. Port Rev. Badly damaged. Tactical pants used by the unit stationed at Gorka. Huh. Where's Gorka? Isn't that on this map? No, Grishino. Gorka. Mogilevka, Vishnoi, Guglovo. I don't see Gorka. Might be further in the east and uh, north, so we just might not have it on our map at present. You. Flectran Booniha. Nah. We'll pass. Oh, okay, so there wasn't as much cool stuff here as I thought there might be. I thought this might be a veritable treasure trove. And it turned out to be nothing. And that is another Flectran booty hat. In pristine condition. I don't know, I've got a black cowboy hat. It's pretty hard to give up. I think we're going to keep the cowboy hat. Yes, yes, I know, I'm getting wet. Okay, time to go just check if we have a zombie friend after all. Maybe we didn't. Maybe it was just me hearing things. But I definitely heard a zombie growl. At least get angry. Drink some water from the well. Oh, we're hydrated. That's good enough. Now it is time to make our escape. Head further into the north. Despite that seeming like a bit of a contradiction when I say safe. <laughs> so, what we'll do is we'll head for... this little area down here. Possibly here. I can't remember if that house is enterable or not. But we'll have a look at it, make sure there's no zombies around it, and that will be base camp. So we've recovered from the loss of pants. <laughs> we were San Colo for a, re for a little bit there, but then we retrieved our pants. We retrieved a pair of pants. We've even gone hunting. We've gone hunting for the first time ever, and I am going to have to look up how you do that. I know how you do the hunting, obviously. Uh, you have to have a knife and put it in your hands. I did have a look and see if the fire axe would do it when I was uh, googling, and no, the fire axe does not actually count as a bladed weapon that's good enough to skin an animal. Surprisingly enough, I would have thought that it would, but uh, no. No, it does not. Okay, so let's just check where we are. We came from about here. This should be where we are now. A roundabout. Yep, that's the bend in the road. That is most definitely a bend in the road. So, what we'll do is we will go and camp out over in this section here. You are getting wet. Yes, yes I am. But you know what? I'm okay with it. We're gonna rough it. And you're gonna camp under the trees. And you're gonna camp under these trees. Perfect, we'll camp by this shed. Is it a shed? I don't know. Let's have a look. 
Not really a shed. Oh no, it is. It doesn't have anything in it. You are no longer getting wet. I'm hesitant to camp out in the shed though. I, I like the idea of the shed, but I'm not going to camp in it just in case it eats us. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to camp out right here. Perfect. Best plan ever. So we have our matches. We have no firewood, but we saw from the fire axe that we can actually create firewood, so hopefully that will be enough. We'll just have to see, I suppose, but that will have to be next time with me, Grey Hunter, and our lady friend who is surviving in the zombie apocalypse. Um, I'm hoping to also eventually uh, kill this character off. I might kill her off myself. I might just run into the middle of the northeast, the uh, northwest airfield at some point and just kill her. Because I do want to do a co op with New Sensei, who we agreed we would do one eventually. And, uh, well, I said, <laughs> we have to wait until my character is dead because I want to show you guys the entire character's life. And so far, she's been stubbornly reluctant to die. But this time, as you can see, because there were a few of you who were saying it, but they weren't being rude about it. But you guys were saying that it looked somewhat like I was on empty servers. And just this is just to prove that I'm not. Because empty servers are no fun. I'm just not running into people. I mean, we've been on here for an hour also an hour and 27 minutes and as you can see there are a great many people we have not met any of them or if we did they did not meet us like they didn't come down to see us then again we are in the north so it's potentially that they're all at beam wars anyway next time with me gray hunter we will go and find out what there is in the northwest airfield we will go on an adventure there and probably die that might be our penultimate thing because we haven't conquered the northwest airfield in a video yet so let's try and conquer the Northwest Airfield, I think. Anyway, I shall see you guys next time. And until then, this is Grey Hunter saying thank you for watching and toodaloo. See ya.